Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in the previous video, we have discussed about object locks and what is compliance and governance lock. And in this video, we'll be talking about encryption methods and we'll be creating a key. And then we'll be looking into how to delete that particular key that we have created. So let's go ahead and start. So this is the bucket that we have created in the previous video. So just want to show you this uh, before moving into the encryption. So if you go to the properties, uh, you see like uh, right now it's in governance, but back then we have uh, created it uh, in the compliance mode. So if you create this in compliance mode, no one can delete it. So unless this retention period is done, only then we can delete it. So actually the retention period has been completed and I think it has been changed to governance. So right now let's try to delete this uh, object and let's see if we can delete it or not. So initially let's empty that and here let's permanently delete it and uh, empty so successfully it's emptied the bucket so first stage is done the next one is deleting of this particular uh, bucket so let's try to see if we can delete it or not mrt bucket shit yeah so there you go. So we have successfully deleted that bucket. So the since the compliance uh, period has been completed, uh, it has been changed to governance where we can delete this uh, bucket when we have the certain permissions. So since I'm the root user, I was able to delete it. So if you're a normal user, then obviously like you don't have that permissions and you won't be able to delete that. So saying that, let's go ahead and create one other bucket where we'll be talking about the encryption levels. So similarly, I'll be creating uh, MRT bucket. So I'll just leave everything as default. So these are the encryption types that we're gonna discuss in this video. So I'm just gonna create that one. So well, it's created. So let's click the bucket here and uh, let's go to the properties. So here you see the default encryption. So whenever you create a bucket, so this is the default encryption uh, that, that has been enabled, which is server-side encryption with Amazon S3 managed keys. So make sure you remember this whenever you uh, go to the exam. So these are some of the questions that uh, will be arriving in the exam. So let's edit it. So this is the default. If you want to change, you can change it to the, you know, SSC, KMS or dual encryption. So based on your needs, you can add it. I've talked about these encryption levels more detail in my blog as well as uh, in my Instagram channel as well. So I'll be keeping that in the description for your reference. So moving ahead, uh, let's select the second one, which is uh, SSC KMS. And uh, here, let's say if you have that uh, AR and you can add it or else you can just create one. So this is what we are going to see in this video. So just click create, so KMS console. So initially you can configure this key. So if you select, uh, you can select the symmetric or asymmetric. So if that is a symmetric, a single key is been used. Or uh, if you select the symmetric, there are two different types of keys that has been used. So you can uh, read here, a single key used for encryption and decryption data or generating and verifying the HMAC uh, codes. So public and private keys are used here. So you can select the usage, which is encrypt and decrypt. And you can select advanced. So we'll be talking about more options in the further videos. So based on that, you can select it if you want. And uh, in this case, we'll just uh, keep it as KMS and the regionality has a single region. So if that is a single region, it never allows this key to be replicated uh, into the other regions. Whereas in multi-key, it will. So whenever you select, some of the options will be disappearing. So that's how it's gonna work. So I'll just select a uh, single region key as of now. So <clears throat> let's go next and let's add the key name. So in this case, I'll add as uh, key two and you can add the description like why this key is being used and so on. And you can add the tags as well if that is required. So key two and coming to this one, it's administrative permissions. So you can see, choose the IAM user and roles who have uh, administra uh, administered this key to the KMS API. So you may need to add uh, additional permissions for the users uh, or the roles to administer the key from this console. So in this case, uh, I'll make myself as admin. If you see like in the previous videos, we have created an IAM role. So this is the IAM role who have root permissions. So we have given this person access, which is nothing but me, myself. And here you can see key deletion. 
so if you add this you you are able to delete this particular key if you remove it's not so all of key administrators to delete this key so i'm just selecting it which is the default uh, configuration that uh, we have got so let's select the next one so next is a usage so first one is the administrative permissions the next is the usage permissions so select the im user with the roles that can use this kms key in a cryptographic operations so in this case i'll select myself as here and uh, if you want any other uh, aws accounts to collaborate you can add here but in this case i don't have any so i'll just leave it as default and uh, i'll just select next one so this is what uh, we have created and you can see the key policy so in the previous videos we have talked about uh, the json formats how to read and all so you can see uh, these are the permissions that uh, we have got like create describe enable list and so on so you can read this uh, key policy uh, more so in this case like i just leave it as default and uh, let's uh, create this so it's uh, it has been finished so this is the previous one that i have created so this is the one that we have created just now so if you select this one you can see the configurations that has been selected so cryptographic configuration which is symmetric uh, the tags if you want uh, later on you can add the tags and key rotation so automatically rotate this uh, kms key every year so you can select it so that every year uh, it will be rotated so i'll just leave this one aliases just leave it and uh, so let's say you want to delete this key right for example if you have encrypted like uh, let's say you have encrypted some data and uh, if you delete this key then uh, nowhere like you can uh, able to access that particular data so make sure whenever you are deleting it to uh, make sure uh, you don't require that particular key so that is one thing that you need to keep in your mind and uh, if you click here so uh, to delete it we have an option you see disable so you can disable this so for example if you disable this so let me show from here so you can disable it confirm and disable so right now we are not using this key so it's just disable so whenever you want you can just go here and enable that key right so it's done it's enabled so that is how we can uh, disable and enable it and if you want to delete it uh, permanently so select here there is one option called scheduled key deletion right so if you click here so you have an option waiting period so from 70 to 30 days you can select 7 days which is the minimum one let's try 6 so it's not working let's select 7 so you can select 7 and confirm confirm that you want to schedule this key for deletion after 7 days so uh, waiting period yes i confirm that and you can uh, schedule this deletion so it will be deleted within that 7 days time period so meanwhile let's say you uh, you have uh, got to know that uh, this is an important key right so you can just cancel this key deletion and uh, that will cancel so that is how you can maintain these keys which is customer keys and you have also aws managed keys which will be managed by aws so i have talked about more this in my instagram channel as well uh, as well as blog so do check that out i'll be keeping that in the description for your reference and uh, coming to this video i hope you guys understood the concept of today's video if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you are subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.